The Riot Club, two new attendants at Oxford University, get inducted into a gang that includes the poshest, richest, and most fucking mental students the uni has to offer. First of all, just want to get this out of the way, I've never seen the stage play this film is based on. I do know that the person who wrote the stage play also wrote the film adaptation, and I think that's really cool. Other than that, I don't know anything. I'm reviewing this as a film solely on its own merits. So. I don't think I need to explain too thoroughly why I might be a bit biased towards this film. It's about a bunch of young British guys who are nerds. Hello! And because of that, I almost actually feel kind of bad for expressing my thoughts on it. Nevertheless, I can assure you that The Riot Club is very, very good. Although it is a very strange film. Let me explain. You know how most films either focus on the story or the characters? The Riot Club doesn't really focus on either of those things. Don't get me wrong, there are some good characters in the movie. They're just not the focus. Hell, most of the people in the club itself have very little to distinguish themselves from the rest. And you could call that a flaw, but here's the thing. That's kind of the point. Without spoiling anything, there's a part in this film where the lack of a distinguishability between each of the people in the club plays a very vital role in the film and it's very, very cleverly done. There is also a plot to the movie. Once again, it's just not the focus. The film opens and we're in the 17th, 18th century, I think. If it said a date in the film, I can't remember it, I'm sorry. But the point is, these bunch of people decide to make the Riot Club in memory of their friend who has recently died. Cut to present day, and the Riot Club is still going, but they're two members short. So they recruit these two new people, and we see the induction process they have to go through and everything, and uh, then the Riot Club has a big meal at a restaurant, and saying anything else would kind of be entering spoiler territory. So, what is the emphasis on? This might sound weird, but it's on the club itself. The best qualities of this movie don't come from the story or the characters, it comes from learning more about the club and how it works. We see all these weird trials they have to go through and pledges they have to make just to get into the club. We learn about what they look for in new members, such as, and I quote, being a fucking legend. We learn about all these weird little traditions they've had for centuries, like the ten bird roast and uh, wrecking people's dorm rooms to induct them. I feel like if this movie was controlled a bit more by Hollywood, the whole scenes of them actually rioting and just having a good time would be pushed more towards the first half and maybe we would have a scene where one of the characters gets kidnapped or something, and the other people in the club are shouting and arguing about whose fault it is, but then eventually, of course, they put their differences beside them and realize they were being stupid in order to save their friend. And I'm so glad they didn't do that. Why? Well, because they didn't need to. They came up with a good concept, and they just made a movie about that. And I just have so much respect for the makers for realizing that. I really can't think of anything major I found to be wrong with the movie. I did read a couple of reviews from people who I guess live outside the UK because they were saying things like they thought this movie might offend British people, which is really not true at all. Like, yeah, a lot of them talk in that really typical sort of posh boy accent, but I don't think it ever goes too over the top with it. There were one or two scenes that were a little bit distracting, like there's one scene where they're doing a clay disc shooting and one of the characters misses all their shots and goes, ah. Oh! Ass biscuit. Okay, people from the south of England, is this actually like a thing that some of you say? Because I'm from up north, I've never heard it. Other than that, I really can't think of anything I didn't like about this movie. I'm gonna give it an 8, for now. If I watch this film again, and it's just as entertaining, and there's just as much to realise as there was the first time I watched it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9. Because although this might not technically be the best film I've seen this year so far, it is definitely one of my favorites of this year so far. So yeah, The Riot Club gets an 8 out of 10. See it.